Nobody wants to be in a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, nobody. Well, and sometimes, you know, I want, I want to be. But if it comes to it, these are our five picks, top five picks for your mode of transportation. It can be vehicles, anything. As long as you get from point A to point B, like in Revenant. We're not differentiating between cars and trucks and buses. We're not. We're just going to generalize the type of transportation. And we're talking about zombies, um, like in The Walking Dead, the walkers, which are very slow. And the location of this entire list is in Canada. And so, so we have winter. So that's, we have to worry about that. Number five, motorbikes. Let's make it a compliment sandwich. So it's going to be pro, con, and pro. Okay, pros. <laughs> um, they're fast. They accelerate right away. They are small, so if you are in a tight space, you can get through. Maneuverable. Yes. Con. Gas. Gas. Fossil it fuel. That. It can only carry one person. So if you have an entire village, carry bay. It doesn't offer you a place to sleep. Kind of unsafe. Loud. Yeah. As soon as you accelerate, kind of like Daryl. Daryl from The Walking Dead. He had a low rider and he was in the front and it was just loud. It just attracted every single zombie. Another pro for motorbikes are that it's easy to jump onto and just That's start true. it and get away as fast yeah. as you can. And you don't necessarily always have to stay on the road. And if you are going to go fast, stay on the road, stay on the highway. Number four, cars. So obviously the car is a very popular mode of transportation and your average Joe would probably be able to drive. Unless you true. are driving a manual, then good well, luck. you're screwed. Average Joe, you are done. Goodbye, Joe. <laughs> uh, the con of any vehicle at this point, which has four wheels gas. or more, <laughs> which, yeah, like she said, gas. And it can attract a lot of attention. It's a rectangle that is moving. A lot of people will want that, and it's going to att attract a lot of attention. Also, it's very hard to maneuver, depending on the vehicle you have, but generally, if it's not like yeah, let's, a sports car. Then. Yeah. Let's say something happened on the highway and there's a bunch of cars. You might not be able to get through that. Ditch the car. Also, cars are broken very <laughs> easily. easily. Especially yes. when you're driving all the time. Here are the pros now. Car parts, easy to scavenge. It offers you a place to sleep. You can you, store stuff yes. in the trunk. You can carry a family Mono if you had a village. Mm -hmm. Number three, animals. For example, horses, ponies. camels, ponies, donkeys, dogs, dog carriage. Dog carriage, dog or sled, the dog pure sled. in winter. Yes. A pro of it is a companion. Somebody to just talk to for you to have a goal a con of it is that you have to not only your stomach but you have to feed them as well let's say they got hurt you can't go anywhere really that's you true. have to carry them or you have to leave them behind the average joe will most likely not know how to ride a horse or a camel or a donkey or a pony i mean or i've I've never driven a dog sled, so yeah. I don't know how hard it is. <laughs> they are easy to guide through difficult terrain, like any forest. Or that's that's you can very cross true. Cross rivers on it as well. Mud or something. Mm -hmm. Something that you cannot do by yourself. You can and load some weight onto it as well. Instead of you being on the horse, which will make it easier for the horse. Mm -hmm. Another pro of it is that. Eco-friendly. Eco-friendly. <laughs> Save the world. Two. Bikes. So these are very popular and your average Joe will most likely know how to ride a bike. BMXs can help you through the city. They are mostly quiet. Con of it. In order to gain speed, you need to use your energy. And what if you're out of energy? You gotta find food. And you, in order to find food, you gotta move. Let's say it breaks down on you. How likely Change. are you to find some bike parts in the middle of nowhere? You don't know what to do. Also, you can't carry a lot of weight on you. Because That's that will true. slow you down a lot. It's also just one person. It will take quite a bit to accelerate once you get on the bike. So if you get ambushed in the middle of the night, you can't just 
get up and go. It's fairly mobile. Let's say you have a BMX, like jumping up, and you know how to ride a BMX and do tricks on it. So you can do tricks to uh, fake out the zombies. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> to impress the zombies, are gonna be like, oh. And then they're gonna do the thriller. Number one, movement of people. This will include just everything like walking, running, parkour. The movement of people is the best thing. It's just trustworthy, you know? Your own legs, you always have them with you. Parkour is the best type of movement. It can Get you can you. evade almost anything in the city. Your average Joe is very likely to have done a lot of unnecessary running in high school so that they will know how to run long distances. If you do a lot of this, you're gonna want to get a lot of food. It's not yeah. the best, it's not the fastest, and if you don't know how to do parkour, and if you don't run a lot, and let's say you have arthritis or something, this is not the best for you. Just get a gun and shoot them up. Don't run, just, <laughs> just kill them. Just walk slowly in the, in the street. And turn around, and turn around. If you're in constantly. a big group, then people are gonna have different speeds of jogging or walking, or whatever you're doing, and you're gonna have to either wait for them or like separate and then it just gets weird. You cannot carry a lot when you're running or walking. Yeah. Power but then walk they have, away. Yeah. But then they have quantity, so you can't. That's true. If it's that's around. It's like a closing you, window, and yeah, you might wanna get there as fast as you can. If you are walking or running, you will not have a place to sleep, so you have to think about the shelter and the warmth if you're in winter. To finish off this uh, compliment sandwich, a pro is that parkour. You can climb up a tree or climb up the building or just jump onto that wall and just get over it. If you know the city or the terrain that you're in, then parkour mm -hmm. is definitely your best option. So what do you think? Are these the top five? That you would have chosen? Tell us in the comments below. If you like this top five, Share, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. You are a zombie, or a walker. Walker. They don't call it... The fans zombies. are gonna turn on you. They don't call it zombies. <laughs>